This video is your final warning. Let's get straight into it. My name is Zach. Just remember, nothing I say is financial advice. If you want to join that Patreon, that link is in the description, and you can also join the Discord server from the description. Let's get straight into it. So the ultimate warning that I'm going to be portraying in this video is if you are not fully exposed now, if you are you know, half exposed, if you are sidelined, if you have no money in crypto, you're about to miss out. That is the easiest way, the most kindest way I could possibly say. You are going to miss out. People have been expecting a halving dump to occur. That hasn't happened. People were expecting halving, sorry, their all-time high to be broken post-halving. Well, that hasn't happened. And look at us now. We're challenging all-time high, but not only are we challenging all-time high, we're challenging all-time high with strength, and we have just broken out of our recent range. And so what does that mean? If we have another leg up, this could be the take and the new Bitcoin all-time high. And the ultimate warning is, we don't know when this is going to happen. This could happen while we're sleeping. This could happen tomorrow. This could happen in a week. It could happen at the end of March. But ultimately, once Bitcoin breaks that all-time high, people are going to start flowing into crypto. It will be a worldwide headline, and I can almost guarantee that. People are going to be looking for the next altcoin to make them a millionaire, the next altcoin to 100x, the next altcoin that they can put $1,000 into and somehow turn into $10 million. So this will strive and push our altcoins to really make some crazy gains. So if you're not exposed to the altcoin market, I would seriously consider thinking about your decisions. If you are waiting for a lower place to buy, waiting for a dump pre-halving, waiting for a halving dump, I would consider you rethink your strategy because at the current rate, it's not looking like it is going to happen. Just to put into perspective, people are expecting this to happen, going into the halving. Well, if this was in today's world, that would be around 10 months ago and that has not happened. The biggest dump we've had was here after our massive altcoin season and when we had that dump, Altcoins come back to levels that naturally are always going to be higher than the prices that they were at here. So even if we get a 20% dump, altcoins are going to rally and come back down higher than they currently are at the current point. So buying cryptocurrency now is probably the best thing you can do in the cryptocurrency markets and ultimately loading those bags. I've seen on Instagram, I've seen some absolute horse shit on Instagram. All right? Pardon the language, but people are expecting there to be this massive massive retrace. I've seen comments of people waiting at $30,000 and they haven't exposed a single cent to the Bitcoin, to the Ethereum, to the altcoin market because they, quote unquote, are cryptocurrency geniuses and know it's coming back to 30k. Well, they are going to get absolutely ruined. I don't think Bitcoin is ever going to come back to $30,000 ever again um, in this universe. But ultimately, once we break that all-time high, once we make news headlines, retail are going to come in and they're going to come in like a herd of sheep getting rounded up by a cattle dog. All right? I know it doesn't make sense, but cattle dogs also herd sheep in Australia here. So ultimately, we need to be ready. If you are not ready, if you are not fully exposed, you will miss out, like I've said. So how do we get exposed? If you're 50% sidelined, if you're fully sidelined, if you're looking to put your first dollar into cryptocurrency, if you have 10% remaining um, in your spare capital and you're not looking to play with that going into the actual bull run, I think you would consider, I'm sorry, I think it's a good idea to consider getting that money into the cryptocurrency markets and getting in soon because you're going to want to be in before the Bitcoin all-time high breaks. What do we put our money in? Don't forget, I'm going to be taking this back to our hot narratives. The best performing narratives this cycle are going to be layer ones, layer twos, scaling, Bitcoin scaling, BRC20 projects, and Bitcoin related projects, gaming AI, deep in, ecosystem players, decentralized exchanges, decentralized finance, those sorts of things. And also, you've got like your real world assets, um, insurance, all those other narratives um, as well. Sorry, real world assets is a hot narrative at the current point in time. Those pioneers will succeed. So, ultimately, you need to be into, uh, so you need to be in those narratives. And ultimately, you're going to have to bite the bullet. People are going to wait for lower prices and those people that are waiting for lower prices are eventually going to realize that these lower prices are never coming until the next bear run because we're not buying these bottoms anymore, unfortunately. If you're just getting into cryptocurrency now or you've only been in for about two or three months, you start at the start of this year or you started, you know, towards the end of the last altcoin season, waiting for a new low is going to be very, very dangerous and very, very detrimental and is going to be the leading cause to your failure because we're not buying these lows anymore. And to put it out there, these you know 50x to 100x gains are very, very hard to come by nowadays because we're not buying the bottom anymore. 
Uh, say, for example, new launch projects, it might be a different story, but 99% of coins from the current point in time are probably going to do a 20 to 30x at best. And I'm not saying every old coin is going to do this. There are going to be some abnormal situations. Say, for example, you pick up the next early Matic. All right. I'm pretty confident we may have potentially done this in the community, but ultimately, if you pick up these early plays, they can still hold it extra in the current point. But it's not going to be every single coin in your portfolio compared to buying the bottom. So the biggest break here now is going in with an unrational mindset. So you have to know that, okay, I'm probably going to get somewhere between a 10 and 30x in the bull run. If I want to reach a million dollars right now and I've only got a thousand dollars to put in, getting a thousand x in your portfolio is a really bad way and a very unhealthy way to think because you're ultimately going to become some rich millionaire's exit liquidity. So what you need to consider is one, how am I going to get more money into the cryptocurrency markets? I don't mean by going to the bank and getting a home loan out and putting it in. I think that's a very, very bad idea, let alone any loans for cryptocurrency. But this may be you know, that driving factor to pick up a short-term part-time job for the next month or so, get as much capital into crypto as you can, as you can safely afford to lose, because we always have to go in with that losing mindset. So not a losing mindset, but the mindset that, okay, I'm happy to lose my money, go in with an open mind, and ultimately that is a very, very big key to success in this market. And if we can do that, then we can achieve our goals. I have a few videos on how to build a portfolio and the amounts that you can expect to make. I have a $5,000 to $250,000 guide, as well as a, I think it's a, what is that? $25,000 million dollar guide um, as well. There's 20,000. Anyway, go check out those videos on the channel. They are there to help you. Also, the pyramid of success for your research as well. You can get all of this in the Discord server as well. You can join that through the link in the description. And if you would like to join that Patreon, that link is also in the description there. Nothing but alpha. Not only am I making calls, but my Patreon members are making calls as well. So it's a really awesome community and a great place to network and meet other individuals in the space. And who knows? Who knows what you could go on to do um, with this community in the future or different people you meet. But what we need to consider right now is one, what areas do we want to be exposed to? Two, how many projects do I want to hold proportionalized to how much money am I going to put in? And three, what is my goal? Because you have to have a goal in mind and a strategy in place in order to succeed. You can't just come in like a lot of people last cycle, just come in with $10,000 and throw it all into Shiba Inu. And then all of a sudden, some fellow in Dubai has just uh, basically liquidated your positions because he's essentially taken the money you put in because you bought in too late. But you can't do that if you listen to this video. So to summarize this warning video, this is your last chance. All right, we're about to go crazy. A lot of people are going to disagree with me. And quite frankly, I don't care. I'm more than happy for you to stay sidelined and FOMO in later on. I'm more than happy, honestly. But if you do listen to this video and you did take something out of it, make sure you actually put that into action because I guarantee you we're not going to be here for long. We're probably going to break. What I'm thinking is actually is going to happen, um, you know, something like this is we potentially break all-time high um, pre-halving. Once we break that all-time high, we consolidate, have an absolutely enormous old coin season. Then we get our halving dump of 20%. And that'll probably be a retest of our all-time high. Then Bitcoin goes full explosion mode, all right? God candles on old coins will be literally shooting out of your computer screen. Your neighbors will probably be asking, where did that green chimney come from? You can say, no, that's just my Tecton bag. The bar has literally gone through my fucking computer screen out of my fucking roof. All right, that is how much money I'm making. Guys, honestly, this is your last chance. Make sure you get in. Don't listen to the horse shit you see on Instagram. I've seen so many people, like there's this dude named Cam or whatever. I don't, literally don't care um, what his name is. But honestly, he's 90% of his community is silent because he has literally gone into their brains and convinced them that there is a massive dump coming and Bitcoin's going to like 30, 40,000. But at the end of the day, that's all their decision on who they wish to follow. If you do want to follow me, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you join that community. I'm really looking forward to having you a part of it. But don't worry, there's heaps more alpha to come on this channel. I just had to get this video out here because I don't want you guys who are watching this video to be sidelined. All right, I want you all to make money. This is how it's going to happen. This is the most probable outcome for the current point in time. And it just makes sense. If you made it this far into the video, I'm actually going to start doing this a little bit more often. At the end of my videos, I'm not going to tell anyone at the start of the video what is coming, but I'm going to leave little tips and tricks and secret alpha that no one will be able to get unless they watch this far. So make sure you buckle up. I know when the bull run is going to finish. And I'm going to tell you guys who have listened to this point exactly when it's going to end. This comes back to smart money concepts. All right, What 90% of the market thinks is going to happen, the other is obviously going to happen because the market makers choose what happens with the cryptocurrency markets. 
I have a few questions for you prior to asking you one final question on when you think the boring is going to end. I'm going to let you make that decision for yourself. So, how many people were expecting a pre-halving dump? 90% of the market expected a pre-halving dump. What has happened? There's been no pre-halving dump. In fact, the complete opposite has happened. Nothing but the complete opposite. All right. A lot of people expected this to happen, but the complete opposite happened because the market makers chose this to happen because they know so many people were sidelined waiting for this halving dump. My second question is, how many of you thought that Bitcoin was going to break all-time high post-halving? Well, probably a large majority of the actual cryptocurrency market thought this was going to happen. In fact, probably over 90%. Well, if we break all-time high, that is another basic concept that has once again been completely mitigated by smart money and by market makers. So I'm going to ask you one final question. When do you think the bull run is going to end? If you think it's going to end in the 2020, uh, sorry, at the end of 2025, well, don't worry. 90% of the cryptocurrency market is with you. Do you get what I'm hinting at? Do you get it? What I'm essentially saying is when we think it's going to end, is going to be the exact point in time at which it's too late to actually pull out. So I want you to think about that. I want you to make your own decision on when you think the boring is going to end. But I can tell you right now, it's going to be this year. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you in the next one.